Hey everybody, Phantom Shadow here. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We arrived at the Cosmo Canyon, uh, learned more about Red, or Nanaki, and uh, talked to Master Bugenhagen. So we're about to join the festival. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me, and Mom, and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. Man, I can't wait to see what they've got. Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong, but sitting here looking up at the sky, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. Like a grain of sand. On the beach that is this river of lights thing sounds so cool i can't wait what kind of ceremony do you think the river of lights is we've all got to return to the planet someday you know the river of lights huh? something about that in the brochure as such the life i had the pleasure of talking to a mentor said it was presumptuous of me to think i could save the planet she decides her own fate you see as rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? Felt for you. Never been that good with words, as you know. We're just two peas in a pod, aren't we?
So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. It is time! <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Pretty sappy, huh? So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean more of you. Join me, would you? 
What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat, and it pleases me to know that the River of Light possesses such power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they have no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. I pray that the planet watches over and keeps all of you from harm on your journey. This door was sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes, and by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, vale, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Shall we begin? Sure. Then off we go. We follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers, both of them, but they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. Why would I? I see. Chamber of Deception. <laughs> From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him. Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
Whenever you're ready. Ready. Okay, then. Huh. That's a weird vending machine. Should probably put a sess on red. seasoned watchers. Be careful. Blessings of the planet upon you. Make sure that you are well prepared. You gonna watch my back? Yep. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been sealed away are left to mourn their fates. should be well within your power to climb. Approach glowing surfaces and scamper along walls. Even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the Gi managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody fill me in. Who are the Gi? A tribe known to very few people outside of the Vec. The rest you will learn in due time. That you can be certain. For now, let us proceed. Two legs here, you know. to fire and electricity.
stay the course. Yeah, I noticed that his voice is changed to reflect his actual age. Got two legs here, you know. Spider web. I guess that was an item for uh, poisoning foes. Celestial Bangle. Chamber of Folly. It's 
huge. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Namaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, we'll do. Seek the Valgalar past. Carry it forth and bring the truth to light. Only then shall the path reveal itself unto you. Press and hold L2 near an object to grab it and release the button to drop. Grab the Gi artifacts scattered around the cavern and ask Bugenhagen to inspect them. Okay. It isn't a key arrow. Its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Warrior's charm. more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge. Building Materia 3. There's a lot of stuff here. of the Fae. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. Mystic Collar. Dignified Collar once worn by the Watchers of the Veil. Watcher Spirit. Deplete the Vengeance Gauge to increase allies' ATB potent potency proportional to the amount expended. Cool. This is not the relic we seek. 
This is... Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm pleased to see that you're enjoying yourself. Spirits of the Gi that perished during the invasion of Cosmo Canyon, now cursed to haunt its caverns, they were sealed underground lest they unleash their deep-seated hatred upon innocence. Spoiling their elemental weakness with magic attacks or hitting them with healing spells will pressure them. With healing spells. Also weak to fire. as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Chamber of Observance. Are these altars? Interesting. Because 
My first thought was, are we gonna make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place. There's one right here. Two legs here, you know. Phoenix down. <laughs> Fortification materia.
sinks beneath stone. The history of the Vale is intertwined with the Gee, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the key themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Nanaki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the key. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the key to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain Watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the Vale, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a Watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with me. Their malice grows more potent. Somehow I'm getting God of War 1 vibes. Ether. Two Face, cursed beings that float in caves. They're originally once masks that he used in rituals. We die.
Weapons chest. This bazooka. Wicked firearm imbues with the uh, rancor of a tribe fallen of a tribe's fallen warriors. Smackdown. Strike the ground and send nearby enemies flying. Archer. Weak to fire.
around the world and back! You did all right back there! needles. Weak to fire, uh, sealed underground, lest they unleash their deep-seated hatred. You ready for some? You got this.
truly pass on, and their rage remains unquenched. Come. Okay, let's go! Need my help, do you? Don't say I didn't warn you! material. The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as mutable as the winds. But for now, Nanaki, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth.
Okay. Leader of the Gi, a people who were driven to extinction and cursed to roam as spirits. Rejected by the life stream, he and his clan have been sealed in an underground cave. Left to fan the flames of their hatred as the red miasma that envelops them. Soul Flame, in kindled spirits of the Gi summoned by Gi uh, Natak. They unleash a curse once they find a statue to possess. Fine. 
limit break. Nice. become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? Oh, oh. I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. Wall of Honor. The Watcher of the Vale fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait. Is that... My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the key transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki. Their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore. Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> This is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home, like he did. Listen to me, Anaki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, start to believe you've seen it all, but no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Anarchy, before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry, we will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I 
I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our veil. to me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. turn of events indeed. We'll back you up for two thousand. Uh, <laughs> no. This one's free. Within that piece flesh is a tumult of emotion. See to it that Nanaki remains safe. Oh, 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 oh. Our world is filled with wonders. I bid you seek them out. Ugh. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared out of my wits here. I don't know. This gee dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. Inlet of the Lost. of the Gi lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. 
be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears, in due time, reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them. My lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Hmm. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm feeling every single force. One minute, I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. Alright. I think that's a good place to save, and we'll continue this next time. So, uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys then. Bye.